I'm gonna take a look at this one. And guys, the first thing you guys wanna do for this, all right, is again, I'll go through this kind of step by step for you. The first thing we wanna do here is, is um, determine the amplitude. I'm sorry, not the amplitude. There is no amplitude, right? So we don't have to worry about that. But we wanna determine the period. Period is pi divided by b, where b is the coefficient. So what is being multiplied by x? Well, again, you need to know pi x over 3 is the same thing as pi thirds x. It's the same thing. Same thing. So that means pi thirds is my b. OK? So I have pi divided by pi over 3. Now multiply by the reciprocal. And I'm left with 3. That means I have a period of 3. So the graph repeats itself every 3. Now, this is, this is kind of nice, actually. Huh? Yeah. Well, this is kind of nice, though, right? Because now we don't have to deal with pi's, right? So no, there's nothing in terms of pi. We can just deal with integers. So let's actually graph. Now, remember, the initial period, we're not doing any shifts left or right right now. If we just graph the initial period, we know the graph looks like this. We know the period is pi, or sorry, is 3. So then how, where should this first asymptote be at? You can give me a decimal. 3 divided by 2, which is 3 halves, right? <coughs> and this one is negative 3 halves. So all we know is the next asymptote is going to occur how far away from this asymptote? 3. Right? And, and you can do the math. We're only, what, my goal right now is not for us to be graphing these um, or distant industrial periods, but you could do that. The, the next thing you want to do is identify the transformation. We could say there's a vertical stretch of 3. There is a, um, the horizontal um, compression of pi thirds. And then let's go and figure out the, the, the range is rather simple. That's from negative infinity to infinity. The domain, though, please stop. Let's do this. Let's do it over here. Domain <coughs> is going to be x such that x cannot equal, where's one of the asymptotes? Where do we know where one of the asymptotes is? 3 halves. So x cannot equal 3 halves. And then plus, when's the next one going to occur? At 3, right? And we could add, add 3 or subtract 3 as many times. So we could say 3k. k represents the number of times we could add or subtract the asymptote, which is infinite. <coughs>